big reputation there. But he's got some new and, and exciting concepts that fall just in, in line with what we're doing here. We're trying to negotiate and put something together here that's going to make this thing even bigger. And like I said, where can something like this go? It can go global. This can get really big. This can get really exciting. And we see some really great things happening already. Um, we have selected uh, Motor Active out of uh, Sydney, Australia for their expertise, their, their stability in the industry, their stature in the industry, uh, their credibility is, is known globally. And this man has the integrity, the morals, and the values that really fit this organization in a big way. And without further ado, I want to introduce Bruce Morrison from Sydney, Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. So, uh, uh, nice to see so many people here tonight enjoying the uh, really tough Californian winter, I see, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's good I haven't got to acclimatise too much when I left Australia. It's the middle of summer for us. So, uh, it's great to be here. It's great to see such a turnout of people. I think the, uh, it's a great sign that the car community is alive and well. And, uh, and we share in Australia a lot of uh, uh, overlap with what you guys do. We, we like our American cars as... Uh, as Mel said, that we've got to ship them from here, and they've got the steering on the wrong side of the road for us, right? So right. Yeah, we have to get them, and we have to convert them, and then we can't get the parts. Uh, so it's a very expensive exercise, and what you actually get in Australia is a lot more custom-made everything because we can't get the parts. So you, it actually spawned a really interesting industry for us that's quite niche. But you, you see a lot of cars from Australia; everything's hand-built because you couldn't get the parts. So you can imagine what that that does to the cost, because I'm sure you can spend. 15 or 20 grand just with Mel, right? So, you know, for us, uh, we, we do other things. Yes, we've handled the Guys for 25 years, uh, and that's introduced us to a lot of people. We own a, a big car show. We represent our, our brands like House of Color and, and so forth as well. Uh, and we have a magazine and things like that. So we've been in the car hobby for a long time. And uh, we, because of the show side, we get involved in lots and lots of projects, uh, right from the grassroots. And, they're usually very expensive projects just because of the distance and so forth that we live in. So you guys probably take a lot for granted that you have access to the, the colour of the cars and the range of the cars you have here. And even though might, you might think it costs a lot to have that hobby, uh, almost like a disease, I think sometimes we describe it as, it's, it's actually way cheaper here than most of the parts of the world. So you should remember that next time you sign the cheque for whatever it is, 50 grand. So it's great to be here. I'm talking about wheels, am I? Yeah, wheels. So I was going to talk about wheels, but let me tell you why we're in wheels. And that's because, uh, so we've always operated in Australia, as I said, 25 years. We've dealt with the US for all of those years and a bit longer. And Barry since, uh, maybe since I was a kid. Not, not since Barry was a kid, right? He's older than me. And I tell him that all the time. He's a big kid now. Yeah, he's a big kid. He's a big kid, never grown up. So, um, we've done business in America for a lot of time. We've always bought stuff. And I, I guess I had a bit of a dream of uh, all these years in Australia, what would it be like to own a business in America and live the great American dream, right? That's, that's what you guys get to do. So that's what I did. So I bought a wheel business, it's a small one, and uh, it's an extension of the passion we have in our business. If we have Maguire's and we have and paint brands and shows, we, we've lived all that all that time, and I saw a lot of common interest and overlap of how Australians get on here, and we just bring a slightly different approach, maybe fresh eyes sometimes. You know, you, in another part of the world, you always see things differently. And uh, it's, it's great here because people really appreciate that. I think you realise how fortunate you are to uh, approach business the way you do, that we're not seen as, we haven't been seen as a threat or a, even a serious competitor because we're smaller than the other guys. But, you know, it's, uh, people welcome you here uh, way more than you get welcomed the other way around. So it's, uh, hospitality in America is really great. It's, it's sort of nice to be Australian because I think you know at least where the country is now. Sydney's on the map, uh, you know, so most of the time over the years we've explained it's not Austria, it's Australia and stuff like that. And you've seen the Harbour Bridge now, so you can't ever really forget us, right? So we love doing business here and that's where it came from. We had a lot of other components for creating a project and car. We didn't have wheels because we knew paint and wheels is really what, what, what some of the first things you do in the project is set that. And uh, House of Colour there's a lot of places to specify colours and follow trends. And, and wheels in some ways are, are the same way, where you, you can have a trend or it will stay classic, uh, which is the space we operate in. So uh, the, the brand is American Legend and it's designed for classic American muscle cars. 
it extends through to some of the modern day muscle cars because they're designing them like the old cool cars are, right? So that's why our wheels look good on some modern day muscle because we really like the stuff from the you know, late 50s, 60s and, and early 70s. We always think uh, from our end, that's when all the really cool cars were built. So we, we, we have product that really suits that and it's about the fitment and the style of it and trying to keep the classic elements but put maybe a fresh approach on that just to make it a bit different rather than just putting the same wheel on that was always there. So again, it's just trying to bring something new and different to the hobby, which we think is an important part. We want to keep it growing. And uh, we're trying to bring our own bit of, uh, add a bit of cool edge to keep, I guess, kids more interested. You know, we are talking before, if you have a bunch of uh, older guys like us, not old, not really old, now, are we? Just no. older. Uh, I'm the other. I, we, um, my birthday's coming up, I'm okay. 25. That's good, yeah, that's yeah. good, right. Uh, so, but a big part of that is that you, you've got to keep attracting that next uh, generation of, of young people that don't necessarily have the same passion about cars because they didn't grow up in the era that we got to grow up in, right? We were passionate about cars because we had all these cool cars and now the cars aren't so cool and, and they don't have much interest. So seeing stuff like this and keeping it fresh and changing is a really important part of it. So that's why yeah. we're in it. It's funny too, how many of you growing up, you know, had a, I had a Ford Falcon in high school and uh, it had primer fenders and it was the surfed out mobile and it had my decals, it was my car. And it, you know, it had stock wheels, it didn't look worth it on. One day I put those chrome wheels on, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, it just changed the whole look. I mean, it's like, hey, that's a custom car. Yeah. That's cool. You started just pulling, you the started, wheels alone. You started pulling the chicks then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Muskie, he, he goes to a, a car show and uh, he, he, he wins some butt nick rims. And he's got a nice stock classic Ford. And wins these wheels and next thing you know, he's like, oh, I got to do my car now. So he got his wheels and now he built this car from his wheels. Like, <laughs> amazing. So. Um, we're going to make American Legend the wheel of choice for our network. Uh, yeah, Bruce is doing some great things besides that coming over here and he's going to be an asset to all of us uh, with what he's doing and how he's building this and we couldn't ask for a better comrade, a better uh, business partner in our organization than somebody like this with what he knows and what he knows how to do. We're excited about it and uh, yeah, we know you guys can get your wheels anywhere and that, that's not what we're trying to say is you have to buy from us. But trust me when I say, we've got a great asset here, you know, a great business partner, and another one of these guys that's going to come on board, and they're always going to be there to answer the questions that we need answered, to make sure that, you know, whether that wheel fits or whether the house of color paint you've chosen for yourself is the right one. So let's give Bruce a big hand and thank him for being here.